everyone, it's Jennifer from Fiberflux. Welcome to our 2021 Fiberflux Summer Crochet Along. I am so excited. I've been working on all of this for a while now. All through the spring, I kind of worked on this stuff behind the scenes. We are doing a summer spa getaway collection. So all through our crochet along, we're gonna be working on these projects. I have here some spa cloths. They're kind of like washcloths. And we have a back scrubby. We have a soap saver that you can tuck a bar of soap into and pull the drawstring to use with your soap bar or soap scraps to save your soaps. We have a poof, a little mini poof with a hanging loop. I have some face scrubby rounds um, that are really nice for um, scrubbing or applying makeup or something like that. They're very useful for lots of different uh, ways. We also have a headband that you can wear um, to kind of keep the hair off your face if you are um, applying something to your face, for example. And then we have this basket that you can kind of store everything in. If you're making this for a gift, this is a wonderful way to put everything in or you can put some products in there too to store. So we have this wonderful collection. And as you can see, some of the pieces like these four here are done with the closed shell stitch. So the stitches match. We have a lovely color palette of some soothing kind of spa tones that we've made all the projects in. We're gonna talk about the supplies in just a minute. It's really simple supplies. And um, we're gonna use the same yarn and the same hook size for every single project. So we're keeping it very simple. Now when you're done, you can treat yourself with all of these wonderful items or you can get a head start on the gift giving season or make this for someone who you know you might want to um, kind of give them the hint that they need to pamper themselves. <laughs> so um, all of these are really fun and each week we're gonna be doing a different project, okay? So without further ado, let's move on to the supplies portion of this video and I'm gonna to talk to you all about the supplies um, but before we depart for that section, I wanted to tell you about the Ravelry group and the Facebook group um, for our crochet along makers. I'll put the links down below, but these are both two groups that you can join if you haven't already, where we're going to be talking about the projects. It's where I share the projects every one of many places I share the projects, but it's a wonderful place to show off your work. You can ask questions. Um, there's lots of people in there that are super helpful. They kind of jump in and help. And it's just a great place to hang out, either group, if you are making any of these crochet along items. So the links are down below for that. So let's talk about the supplies next. Now that we've talked about all the wonderful projects we're gonna be making, let's talk a little bit about the supplies. I'm gonna be using a tapestry needle, a pair of scissors, a tape measure or ruler is gonna be super helpful to get some measurements that you need for some of these projects. We're gonna be using a five millimeter H crochet hook. This is my Furls Odyssey. I'll put the link down below if you'd like to get one for yourself. And the yarn that I'll be using is called 24 seven cotton from Lion Brand Yarn. And um, I have a bunch of it here to do all the projects. Now, this is sort of like a series of projects that you can pick and choose. You can make one of the projects, you can make all of the projects. It's totally up to you. So I do have a bunch of yarn here. Um, but the 24 seven cotton is just one type of cotton yarn you can get out there. You can really use any kind of like cotton dishcloth yarn would be wonderful for this project, this series of projects rather. Um, if you are going with the 24 seven cotton, just know that it is 186 yards per ball. It is a four medium on the yarn weight scale and it recommends a G four millimeter hook. I'm going to be using a five millimeter H crochet hook just to sort of open things up and whenever I'm using cotton yarn, I like to open it up a little bit with the hook, a larger hook than recommended to, just so it dries a little quicker because the, the yarn and the stitches will be a little bit more open. So we're gonna go up a hook size than the recommended. But if you need to substitute yarn, just look for a four medium, uh, something that recommends a G hook or something close to it. Uh, really any cotton dish cloth yarn would be wonderful. I will put a list of some cotton yarns you can use instead. Um, you can hop on over to the blog using the link below and I'll have some other choices too in case you either can't find this or have some other things on hand that you were thinking of using as well. Now I picked some, because this is a spa kind of um, themed project, I picked some kind of soothing um, colors, some nice cool colors. This is the Ecru, it's like an off-white. 
And then I'm, I'm also going to be using the lilac. This is like a, a nice uh, kind of subdued purple. And then I also have the aqua, which is like a bright aquamarine color. So um, again, if you're, you, if you're making up just a project or two, you're not going to need all of this yarn, but I've got a bunch of yarn so we can make all the projects together. Before we depart, next week we'll be working on our very first project, so join me next week for that. And also, if you haven't joined the Ravelry uh, Crochet Along group and the Facebook Crochet Along group, the links are down below. You can join those two groups as well if you haven't already. That's a wonderful place to show off what colors you're using, what type of yarn. There are wonderful people in there that kind of jump in and help each other. And it's also a really fun place to show off your work. So that is it for this week. I just wanted to talk a little bit about the projects and the supplies so you can kind of have a week to gather up what you need and join me for next week for our very first project. So this week was just informational about the projects and the supplies. So you'll have a head start when we begin our first project next week. So just gather everything you need and you don't have to use the exact yarn. You can grab some dishcloth yarn that you have on hand or cotton yarn that you may have um, and and use that. So um, I encourage everyone all, all the time to check what you have first. Um, you don't have to use the same exact colors and ex the exact yarn, but if you want to, totally fine. Um, so I will see you next week for our first project. And be sure and join our two um, crochet along groups, our, our Facebook group and our Ravelry group, and that way you can kind of connect with the other makers as well. I will see you next week for our first project. Thanks so much for watching, and be sure and click the subscribe button to get all the latest Fiber Flux video updates. Thanks again.